colossal. It's stupendous. It's conspicuously incredible. Hurry, hurry, step right up. Hey, Sonny, you want to give it a try? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Conspicuously Incredible Gaming. I am your host, Mike. So I finished up the Monster Bash game earlier. Uh, like over the weekend, or uh, very, very early this last week. So now I've got the time. Uh, I'm go ahead and take care of a new game, which is not new. Uh, Portal, and after this, uh, Portal 2. I, uh, I see that these two games here are probably going to go pretty quickly. Uh, I might even finish this one tonight. So, uh, I know the stream might run a little bit long, but I probably could finish it. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We'll get right on into it. Alright, so let me just bring the game back up. There we go. Just making sure everything's on. Now, uh, that's probably gonna stop. Uh, desktop auto. Let's bring that up at least a little bit. Um, Portal's a kind of a quiet game when it comes down to soundtrack. I don't know. I'm trying to adjust the levels here. Uh, myself, I. I think my voice is all right. Maybe I can come up just a tad. It looks a little bit low. Uh, I'm going to leave the desktop audio where it's at. I don't want to drown out my voice by the sound of the desktop audio. All right. And this one's pretty straightforward. Um, simple platformer. Uh, first person shooter, but it's not a defensive weapon. It's more of a, or an offensive weapon. It's more of a defensive weapon in a way. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody's done, seen, played, or heard of Portal, so what I'm going to do is kind of point out a lot of the story and stuff like that as I go along. Yeah, just waking up in the chamber. Uh, basically, the place had been destroyed or overrun uh, when they tried to start GLaDOS up. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, Serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Por favor, por donde Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay, so you wake up in this facility, you have no clue what you, what's going on, what had happened, none of that. Um. So it turns out they created this supercomputer that was supposed to be uh, run the facility slash be a lab assistant, and it went crazy and killed everybody. Everybody that was working on everybody that was pretty much up and moving around and had anything to do with this creation at that point. Uh, a lot of the test subjects that they already had in stasis were pretty much left alone because they were still going to be test subjects. Uh, the main character here, Chell, happens to be, uh, let's throw that in there, get some of that good old sangria, that turlet wine. Um, oh, it actually flushed. Uh, somebody at the facility, 
apparently was Chell's mother and or father. And she was at the Take Your Daughter to Work Day, the day that GLaDOS was activated. And she was kind of caught up in the melee, but somehow survived. There's a glitch, I think, in the original Orange Box version. Of course, this is the, you know, the Steam, the PC version's been patched. But there's supposed to be a, uh... There was a glitch where you could attach the radio. It's stuck. I think they patched that out of there. But they put these radios in as a uh, as a mini game, and what results is the sound signature of slow scan TV that, uh, if put through the proper, uh, I guess, the scrambler software, whatever, you can uh, it shows an image. And this has been used by ham radio operators for years. So if I... I don't even know if you can... You can't really hear it that well. Oh, it's okay. This one's the Morse code. That's why. This one's the Morse code. Uh, you can get on and find... Uh, what most of them are, but most of them are. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material and emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Yeah, but if I do that, another one will drop from the sky. So anyway, you're pretty much traversing through here to figure out where where you're at, what happened, figure out a way to get out. Well, the radios thing was kind of a mini thing, but it was an additional later on after the, when they added the um, the extra bit to the end scene, kind of giving a excuse me like a cliffhanger to what may come next. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Super colliding super button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Just, uh, just trying to get down to it. Now, those radios, they, they showed, you know, slow scan TV. A lot of it was, uh, had hints on kind of the backstory and what was going on. It gave a little bit more information. The game itself, as far as giving up its story, was actually kind of cryptic. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. But, uh, the slow scan TV, uh, Revealed a lot of different images, a lot of things. The Morse code revealed a lot of things. So I guess maybe I touched on that a bit. You can get online and look up exactly each level and what the slow scan was. And Very good. 
good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. Yeah, leave us with that information. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. That's the uh, slow scan TV image. Like even now, provided you have the right equipment and everything, it's it, with that slow scan TV would be really useful in emergency situations. Because all you would need is, you know, a radio and a. Radio waves, you know, don't take all that much, can go far enough. Uh, you don't really have to have a camera, just some... It's usually a, uh, a box when it comes down to, uh, like ham radio operators and stuff like that. If you already kind of have that equipment, uh, it, it's really handy. But you can send messages, you know, just through standard image. You can be, basically just send an image over radio waves. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Kind of been going on about that a little bit. Um, most of these test chambers here at the beginning are just real simple. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. I don't know if I'll actually try to do all these. Because they start to become easy enough, but... Should have been around here somewhere. Perhaps. There it is. You gotta get up high enough. <laughs> I want to put 
set the camera through the emancipation grid again. Destroying vital testing apparatuses, apparati. Showang. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Without even having to, without having to go down there. There it is. And actually, if you do it right, you can put that on the button without even touching the cube. There's an achievement somewhere for that in the game if you can if you can complete it without touching the box. I think it is. the wall there for a second. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. I think the only thing is the... Or not. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. I was hoping to be able to bullseye it right down on the button. Uh. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting uh, that we right. would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, 
We will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. The area of reception for this is back outside. I tripped the door. Like I say, yeah, I'm not going to try to do all of them because after a while it starts getting the most ridiculous of places. You got to put them radios in order to get the reception. One safety is one of many enrichment center goals. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject phone call here. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Where's that radio? Did I miss it? I think it's in the next room. Either that or it's on the floor under there. Like this first game is it's really glitch city there's a lot of other different things you can do that will glitch this game out level skip stuff like that please know that we have added a consequence for failure any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record followed by death good Shit. luck after i did that i realized it was going to bounce back and <laughs> come out the way. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. If I did that here instead of I tried to wait till I got to the platform over there to do it. shoved out of there. I know he's joking, but he's talking like I did it on purpose. Oh shit, we already, uh... Already at least did that. I thought he was talking about the meme I posted earlier. The one my cousin told me about, the, uh... The Frosty the Snowman spreading his butt cheeks and passing gas and snowflakes coming out and it says that's how snowflakes are really made.
Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yeah, well, when you stop enhancing the truth, like you say earlier, I'm just stuck in the air. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. The thing is, if you sit here for a while, it's funny the stuff that gets said. Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Of course, there's that's right. Once again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. Got it. Frankly, this chamber was a mistake. If we were you, we would quit now. No one will blame you for giving up. In fact, quitting at this point is a perfectly reasonable response. Whoops. Yeah, she just keeps it up with the negative. Quit now, and Kay will be served immediately. Oops. I'll give her a few more minutes to berate me. I think that's about it. Drop it. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Just a little bit of brain damage. Just a little bit of brain damage. It's still good. It's still good. Hello again. To reiterate, previous one is momentum. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Thank you. 
The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Oh shit. Some watery and brown. It looks like a sewer system. Yep, I got it. G -g 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 got it. Scratch? Oh yeah, you can definitely scratch it with a portal gun. That make things a lot easier too. Hell, being a trucker, I just shoot one at home when I got home, and then just keep the gun put up. And every time I get somewhere and can rest, just shoot the opposite portal somewhere, go in, go home, pop back out again, and, and go. Of course, if I screw up and erase or move the portal. <laughs> Do what with myself? <laughs> of course, if I screw up, then I'm like hundreds of miles away from the truck. You want me to do what with myself? Here? In front of everybody? Oh, yeah. It'd be useful work as a trucker than go play games. Well, I can play games on the road. Because I got my, my laptop, but, uh... And just the fact of maybe like going home, sleeping in your own bed, uh, maybe if you wanted to have a drink, but you can't drink while you're out on the road. I hit the hole. I hit the ceiling pretty good on that one. out of here. She wanted me to do what with myself and then went we? <laughs> Fling myself? 
Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic sal and adrenaline. Peptic salve don't sound too healthy. Oh, come on. What the hell? So I had those open. Oh, that's right. Now I gotta go and get... That cube out of there. I got I got flung out of there. Oh, that barely stayed up there. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, <laughs> you will be Mist. <laughs> Meaning you will be turned into mist. <laughs> Not longed and and uh and and affected upon anymore. <laughs> you you will be turned into a fine mist. And use to grease the slides of the instationary scaffolding. All right, this one here. All subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided and you are an excellent test subject. This one here is one they kind of screwed up on when they developed. But they left it in anyway, because they figure with it, you, you just starting the game and just having access, you know, and then learning the, the process and all that, that you wouldn't, some people wouldn't figure this out right away. But this level here, this, this chamber, you don't actually have to beat in the original way, and I will... I will demonstrate that here after I beat this the correct way.
So that's all I gotta do there. Very, very good. A complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. Now honestly, with that, all you had to do was go to the portal here. Climb up here. Ah, it's not gonna let me do it now, is it? You put a portal down there when the stairs drop down. See, now it's gonna stay up. And you basically... You basically fling yourself down here, and you'll pop up out here in this one, and you'll shoot across and land right on the platform. There was an oversight when they made this level, and the testers, some of the testers picked up on it immediately and started doing that. And at first they were like, well, we should take it out, it's too easy, and then one of them's like, nah, being this early on in the game, if somebody were to figure that out, let them go ahead and keep it. The Enrichment Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and re counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. This one was always a pain in the ass. I'm standing right in the middle of that thing, so that thing it hit me right in the frickin' forehead. And I think it's got a couple of seconds. Yeah. I think it loses energy slightly, you know, start, start slowly losing energy. It'll bounce around between a few walls before it actually goes away. I always hated this room.
ping pong. I found the best way to do this was... I can do it for both. Yeah. Alright, so... Hole in the floor, hole in the wall. Did you know you can donate one or all of your vital organs to the Aperture Science of the Steam Fund for Girls? It's true. Mandatory scheduled maintenance. Oh, yeah. The appropriate chamber wow. for this testing sequence is currently Turrets. unavailable. It has been Some replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids. The enrichment center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Put me down. Turrets were actually originally supposed to be intended for guarding babies in their cribs at night. That's a bad position. I 
That's that panic shot shit right there. Fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> okay, this is where we start getting into... ...what they're calling the Rat Man's Dens. still a good bit that's kind of unknown about how long and what happened, but one of the scientists survived. He, uh, he ended up surviving pick them up if they do go through. So he basically survived back here off of water, uh, milk, beans. Uh, there's supposed to be an allegory somewhere about milk, beans, and honey or something like that. Aperture science, beans. I think there's a mug back here somewhere, either that or maybe in a second. Ooh, we know what that was used for. And, uh, yeah, he used a lot of the computers and everything, the, the PCs, as ways to heat the food. He put it on the fan, on the heat sink. Initially, he was just trying to survive. But when he, uh, after the first one here, when he realized and found that, um, that Chell actually took GLaDOS down, she was put back into stasis and put in as the top priority as far as test subjects go because he was hoping she would come back eventually and, and beat her again.
worst part of that is... This was supposed to be one of the glitches too here. Well done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. is so cold it's frozen everything. She's a little runny. Oh well. Still good. The vital apparatus and will deliver a weighted companion cube in three, two, one. This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. It's kind of a pseudo escort mission. It's baby you gotta babysit this cube the whole damn time. The symptoms most commonly produced by Enrichment Center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The Enrichment Center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. It wasn't even. Oh, okay, it was up there. I was gonna say. There's some. There's some trick, some something or another glitch, I think, that you do with those broken cameras and. What not? Yeah. 
the enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment center urges you to disregard its advice. Oh, that's right. Well, something about that and being able to save the companion cube. That's what was supposed to happen. jumped into it. Meow. to jump you gotta have more distance than that it's already it's already been blown out on the side a couple times and like you did it the weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Unit. Well, well, you euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. <laughs> because I've played this so many times, I've I've done done through the, the whole process of, oh, can I save it? You know, grief for it, all this and that. It, not a whole lot you can do. I mean, there is a glitch. And that's about it. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The enrichment center is required to remind you that you will be baked. And then there will be cake. You will be baked, and then there will be cake. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Should have, should have put the hell brakes on on that one. dang dangling myself completely back into the sewer water. And it still started shooting the shit out of everything after it hit the water. Bye-bye. 
Goodbye, lard ass. That was close. <laughs> I didn't realize that thing was bouncing around back behind my head. It's gotta be done quick. Can't do much anything about the bastard now.
<laughs> you know what, just for that. Have one of these. Son of a bitch. Oh yeah, you're not so funny now, are you? Funny, but not that funny. Problem is, yeah, I still have to go back over here and open the damn thing again. That son of a bitch has been shot up pretty good. <laughs> it's got hella holes in it. stuff. So it starts getting extreme. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an Enrichment Center Electrical Safety Seminar.
forgot how you did that. Huh. Caught it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Rick found me. Welcome to the final test. When you are done, you will drop the device in the equipment recovery annex. Enrichment center regulations require both hands to be empty before any cake. Okay, well, how or why it did it that time and not any other damn time. This part here was what tripped me out. It wasn't, it didn't end like normal games. Like, wait a minute, I'm gonna die now? <laughs> like, I'm gonna be killed? And you start to realize real quickly. There is absolutely no chance of a dangerous equipment malfunction prior to your victory incandescence. Thank you for participating in this Aperture Science computer-aided enrichment activity. Goodbye. Like in a way, you do almost get the feeling like you're not supposed to be there. Almost gives you a feeling of breaking the game. Till you realize it was all part of it. Uh, Mr. Nick, uh, 1732. I don't speak Russian, so I don't know what it 
as you're saying, but welcome anyway. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the channel. You're still halfway in the portal. You can shoot another portal and change it where you're at. Of course, they they made sure to completely fix that in Portal 2. So all the uh, Aperture Lab stuff, all the computers and stuff behind the scenes, you know, it really made you. you kind of wonder it's funny how some of this equipment still on like like even if there wasn't a power failure how like a lot of these computers and everything wouldn't have crashed still working. Tell they had plenty of people staring and watching for quite a long time. Well, I want to go back in here, go back across this catwalk. I think this is where I needed to be. That's uh, the place I dropped in. Oh, okay, yeah. Thank you. 
the test is over now. You win. Go back to the recovery annex for your cake. It was a fun test, and we're all impressed at how much you won. The test is over. Come back. Somebody cut the cheese. Oh, I mean the cake. <laughs> it's just... I figured I hadn't played the game yet, off on the stream, so still got the other one to go. But uh, thanks for checking back in, Diamond Dogs. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I'm pretty much about through it now. At least the first one. screen there. Keep saying that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Two of these is uh, squishy bye bye time.
it's not so much that I really need help with the game because I've played it and beat it. It's I haven't played through this one all the way through in a little while, and some of the things I don't quite remember right off the bat. I got it now. I mean, it's not very much further. I needed to get to. I believe it is. Yeah, I believe it is. There it is. The, one of the Ratman scrawlings. So. Ah, okay. Need to move that over some. Damn near part me up in the incinerator. And you want to talk about not safe? <laughs> I'll take my chances with the pistols, lady. stuff in here is just pointless. <laughs> like, what, like, what are these damn pistons and things doing actuating? I guess maybe behind the scenes with all the doors and all the other stuff in the test chambers, but it just, it looks like a weird kind of just random mush together of stuff.
off in the dark. Okay, can't jump down that way. Have to jump over here. I feel sorry for you, really, because you're not even in the right place. You should have turned left before. It's funny, actually, when you think about it. <laughs> One day we'll remember this and laugh. Down the hole. Another uh, rat man's den. That's one lucky son of a bitch right there. shot off is beyond me. You're not a good person. You know that, right? Good people, don't stand up here. Are you still there? Can you hear me? You're out of bullets. Searching. Still knocked it over. Didn't I? Yep. Oh, that was a. Uh... Stayed up there or not? Oh, 
We should have. It's only on the other side there. Not quite so nice. Yeah, I think I need a, uh... That's great. There we go. Of 
course, I'm only gonna get one cube out of it, so... Shoot. Oh, yummy. Walking through the sewage. Put me down.
Didn't quite work.
this thing starts shoosting at me again. I th think this is... I don't know. I think this is one of the main chambers, but, uh... The Borealis was around here somewhere. Nope, this is the room. This is the, this is the end. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only Jeez. thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle Spot for kick. that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse somehow. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. I think it's one of these things I had a... Do you think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology? I mean, seriously now. Okay, fine. Do touch it. Pick it up and just stuff it back into me. Let's be honest. Neither... You are kidding me. Did you just set that Aperture Science thing we don't know what it does into an Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that- Whoa, 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 whoa. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Oh, that core may have had some ancillary responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me, it'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Alright, keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice aren't mutually exclusive. That's right. A rocket this... really is the way to go. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking in it. It makes you look so often. What's that right here? This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel the pain. Who are you? You don't even care, do you? What's that? Oh, you're I said you don't care. I'll need to listen. Maybe from the test. Hi. Oh, you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is. Chicken! In base four, I'm fine. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me, unfortunately. As much as I'd love to now, I can't get the neurotoxin into your head any faster. I just like to put it on the little See, there was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, the companion cube. Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends. Because of how unlikable you are. It says so right here in your personnel file. Unlikable. Liked by no one. A bitter, unlikable owner whose passing shall not be warned. Shall not be warned. Oh, did I end up dropping it up That's there? Exactly yeah, I did. What it says. Very formal. Very official. It also says you were adopted. 
so that's fun too. Speaking of curiosity, you're curious about what happens after you die, right? Guess what? I know. You're going to find out firsthand before I finish explaining it, though, so I won't bother. Here's a hint. You're gonna want to pack as much living as you can into the next couple of minutes. That thing you burned up isn't important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It made sure that that neurotoxin. <laughs> so deadly. <laughs> Joking. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the deadly was a massive sarcasm quote. I could take a bath of this stuff, put it on cereal, and have it all my eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. To me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less funny. I was going to make the cake when I'm gone. You're wasting your time. What's your point anyway? Survival. Well then, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain scanning, and when I come back, I can do something terrible happens to me. Which is just about to. Don't believe me? Yeah, I'll put you on. Come on. That's you. That's how dumb you sound. You've been wrong about every single thing you've ever done, including this thing. You're not smart. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Where did your life go so wrong? Are you trying to escape? <laughs> Things have changed since the last time you left the building. Back. Done. I have an infinite capacity for knowledge. And even I'm not sure what's going on inside. All I know is I'm going to stand in between us and be in. This was, uh, well, after you saw this falling and stuff here. This getting dragged away was added in later. Probably gonna turn this down. Uh, not that Jonathan Colton's still alive is necessarily protected under copyright. Uh, I know for sure it's uh, Creative Commons, but it's just the fact of. It's just the fact of I'm gonna have to go through all that trouble to to turn around and uh, try to get that taken out of the stream. Yeah, I ain't so worried about too much about the uh, copyright strike on that because I know I know it's Creative Commons. I uh, followed Jonathan Colton for years. Charlie Brown, Charlie Bergen, but I just don't want a. Uh, I don't want to have to turn around and get the notification that there was some material in there, and then have to go back and actually make it erase it and all that stuff so <laughs> 
So I like how they, I like how they did that with the 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 ASCII text and the the whole amber monochrome thing. And it looks real good on the uh, LCD too. Yeah, and I, I like I like a lot of Jonathan Colton stuff too. He's he's a pretty good musician to look into. Uh, he did the whole what he called a, th a thing a week, which he uh, he based it on they might be giants and their dial a song thing, where every week they'd release a new release a new song on a voicemail type, you know, call in thing, you'd pay so much or whatever, you know, call in to the 900 number or whatever and hear a brand new song a week. It was so popular in New York where it was based out of that it, it, it crashed the uh, system a couple of times. But so what he did was for every week for a whole year, he would write produce and release a, a brand new tune and uh, that's pretty much where he got uh, where he got a lot of attention and fame from that uh, then of course he you know he did this the uh, the ending the portal uh, the ending the portal 2 he did uh, they gave him a lot of the materials and stuff like that I I don't think he worked for Valve at one point in time, but something tells me there was some sort of a connection, or one of the guys there saw the thing a week thing and, and decided to ask him to try to make the uh, make the tune. It, I'm sure there's a wiki somewhere, but I like a lot of his stuff, but I've kind of. I kind of moved on from about 10 years when I found out about him, and now there's a lot of other stuff I like a lot better. Still uh, still a good musician, though. Um, I said a lot of geeky subject matter and stuff, but I've... I don't quite live so much the, the, the geek thing as hardcore anymore. Uh, it's not really, you know, I don't really... I identify it with it to an extent, but I don't live it, eat it, and sleep it like I used to. So anyway, uh, yeah, this is kind of the screen you get after you beat the game and everything, and you get the whole... So we finally made it. We got the radio there. We got our cake. You know, pretty much just hiding out now, I guess. So anyway, uh, it took me... Two hours, fifteen, something like that. I know it's by far speed running. I know some of you, some guys can speed run the thing in like twenty minutes or less. Why is that still got the? Uh... Oh, if it's still got the, uh... I have to double check if it's still got the Monster Bash logo on the video. It shouldn't. So anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there, and I will be back, might be back tomorrow, with uh, Portal 2, and then we got one shot, so, um, yeah, uh, and also uh, our make a game thing we're doing, uh, we have decided that it's going to be a platformer game, so... It is going to be a platformer game. <laughs> uh, votes are still on if, uh, you know, what kind or, like, what the scenario is going to be, I guess. Like, what, what are we going to do? Are we going to do Steampunk? Are we going to do Wild What? The, the consensus right now is Steampunk Cowboys. And it's, it's, it's pretty much unanimous with the group, of, the group of people and the few votes that I do have. So, um, I mean, unless... You want it to be fantasy or sci-fi or whatnot and whatever. It looks like it's going to be uh, cowboys, steampunk cowboys. So anyway, uh, 
Let me go ahead and get out of here and do the thing, and I shall talk to you all later. Uh, let's see. This has been Conspicuously Incredible Gaming with your host, Mike. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Also, check the links down below for Patreon and for Streamlabs if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, or... Or not, I just appreciate uh, everybody watching the stream and participating and, you know, just kind of overall just chiming in. Uh, also check the link down below for Discord. This is where all the stuff is going on for the, uh, the game we're making. And uh, as long as, you know, as well as other conversations and different stuff and, you know, kind of share pictures and stuff like that that I, you know, that I take on the road and different things. So, you know, good time there for all. So anyway, I appreciate everybody for watching, take care, and I shall see you all later. Conspicuously Incredible Gaming is a Conspicuously Incredible production.